The Bill of Rights is one of the most biggest and most anticipated according to the Constitution. Today, the human activists have gathered here to protest and to say that it's time, it's about time that their voices are heard. The birth of the 2010 Constitution of Kenya marked new beginning of its citizens when it was first promulgated in public. Kenyans believe that the Constitution will shield and even protect them and their rights. The Constitution has reached 10 years down the road. Its destination has brought us here in Uhuru Garden, Mombasa, where Haki Africa and the other human activist organizations have rooted themselves here, chanting Chapter 4 of the Constitution, Bill of Rights. But why the sudden change? The executive director of Haki Africa, Hussein Harlit, says that the politician leaders do not interfere with the Bill of Rights while he emphasizes on the rights of an ordinary one and chief. Fiti ambao tuliweza kuuzindua jana pamoja na Amnesty International tumeona kwamba wananchi wa Kenya wamependekezwa zaidi na sura ya nne ya utekelezaji wa katiba ambayo inazungumzia masala ya haki za kibinadamu kama mashirika ya kutetea haki za kibinadamu tunasema hivi wazi kabisa kwa viongozi na wanasiasa vile vile tunawapa ujumbe kwamba wasithubutu kugusa sura ya nne bill of rights katika katiba ya Kenya sura ya nne ambayo inazungumzia masala ya haki za kibinadamu ndio sura ambayo inamuangazia maskini aliyeko chini sura hii ya nne inayozungumzia haki za kibinadamu ndio inayotekeleza matakwa ya mwananchi sura hii ya nne ya haki za kibinadamu ndio kipengele peke yake ambacho kinamhakikishia mwananchi haki zake na sisi tunajua kwamba sura hii ya nne ni mojawapo ya sura bora kabisa katika katiba zote za bara Afrika kwa hivyo tunataka kutuma ujumbe kwa viongozi wanasiasa na wale wengine wote ambao hivi sasa wanajadili masala ya kubadilisha katiba tunawaambia kwamba hatutakubali hatutaruhusu kama wananchi Sura ya nne ya haki za kibinadamu kuguswa au kubadilishwa kwa njia yoyote ile. According to Nais Abdullah from Sister for Justice, many countries in Africa have taken the Kenya constitution as a benchmark. Um tunkiweza kumnukuu Yash Palgai ambapo pia ni 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 mtu mmoja tunamtambua katika nchi yetu ambapo aliweza ku kuipitia ama kuweza kuichangia moja hapo katika katiba yetu aliwahi kusema kwamba iwapo nchi yetu ya Kenya itahadaiwa ita ama itadanganywa na maripoti mbalimbali ya kuweza kuingamua ama kuweza kuitoa uh, katiba yetu ya Kenya bila shaka nchi yetu itakuwa ni hali itakuwa hali mbaya kabisa itazoroteka tunaamini nchi mbalimbali katika Afrika imeweza kuchukua hii katiba yetu ya 2020 kama benchmark na wakaweza kufuatilia ama wane, wa, wamefuatilia pakubwa kutokana na hii katiba yetu ya Kenya ndio maana tunasema iwapo kama BBI wataweza kuiona kama BBI ama hizo mabadiliko wanaotaka wana, uh, 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 serikali lakini isiweze kugusa kitengo cha cha utetezi wa haki tunasema utetezi wa haki ni muhimu iwapo kuna katiba hakuna katiba ita universal human right wasiweze kugusa bill of rights wasiweze ku Yaani katiba nzima iko sawa lakini ni vile tu eh, interest ya mtu mmoja au mwingine anataka mabadiliko kivyake yeye eh, ama self interest ndio maana wanaleta hizi mchakato wa kuweza kubadilisha katiba lakini iwapo kama kuna katiba inayopendeza katiba inayowajali mwananchi katiba inayojali watu wote ndani ya nchi yetu basi ni katiba yetu ya 2020 Constitution of Kenya Yusuf Lule CEO of Huria further expresses his concern that some of the leaders might have ulterior motives in changing the constitution standing on the grounds of bill of rights okereketwa bado hatujakuwa convinced kwamba ipo sababu ya kuweza kurekebishwa katiba yetu ya Kenya it is very clear kwamba there are selfish interests selfish reasons ya kutaka kubadilisha katiba leo 
So this is a polite language that we are using. Kwa wale viongozi na wale wamnao taka kubadilisha katiba. Kwamba they keep off their hands the Bill of Rights, the chapter on Bill of Rights. So kwa sasa tunatumia polite language kuambia waachane na sura ya nne ya katiba. Lakini kama hawatosikia ile polite language, Allah ya alam. Tutajua mbele ni. Cases of gender-based violence continues to affect the society, says Salma Hamed, Deputy Executive Director of Hockey Africa. She continues to pose her concern about women's rights. Nyaswa, kuna haki ambazo tumeza kumilikiwa katika katiba, haswa haswa katika kipengecha ane chapter 4 Bill of Rights, ambazo zinatulinda sisi kama wamama, lakini bado zinakiuka kwa hali ajuu. Ukiangalea huu muda mbaya ambao tukonao ama muda mgumu ambao tukonao wa COVID-19. Kesi ambazo unazisikia zinakuja juu zaidi ni za gender based violence. Kwa nini na bali, bali sisi sote tumeza, tume, tumeza kulindwa na hii ni katiba. Kwa hivyo tunachosema ni kwamba hii katiba itekelezwe. Haswa kipenge cha nne na isiguswe. Iweze kuenforcewa ili tuweze kulindwa hali zetu haki zetu zote na tuweze kuendelea kama wananchi wa kidemokrasia. Anzo. Simon Gitel. Director of Jihudi Organization, Father Dives in Matters of Some Police Using Force and Cases of Missing Persons. Na shirika la Jihudi kama director. Na leo tuko hapa kuadhimisha miaka kumi ya katiba. Na jambo la kwanza ambayo tunataka kulieka wazi. Chochote kile ambacho atakuwa anataka kukifanya. Kwanza, kipengele ambacho kinausiana na mambo ya Bill of Rights. Icho asikishike kabisa kwa sababu wanainchi wamekubaliana nacho na wanataka tusonge nacho na ndicho ambacho kinafanya sisi kama mashirika ili tuweze kufanya kazi pamoja na wananchi tukiwa pamoja kwa hivyo siku ya leo tunasema hands off bill of rights covid-19 millionaires a concern the shock the nation's attention made human activists demonstrate Mathe Shipeta from Hockey Africa father tells Al Shifar TV that at least their voices were heard and their effort didn't go into vain. Nilipokuwa promulgated na leo tumekuja na message kwa kwa wale wote ambao wana nia ya kubadilisha katiba. Kwetu ni kuambia kwamba badilisheni kile mnataka kubadilisha lakini musiguse Bill of Rights. Don't mess with the Bill of Rights or else it's going to be messy. Sisi tunasema kama watetezi wa haki. Bill of Rights is the best Bill of Rights in the world. Na hakuna mahali ambapo sisi wa Kenya tunajivunia kama ile sehemu ya uh, kipengee cha chapter 4 ya Bill of Rights. So we are telling uh, anyone who has an intention of, uh, of making changes in the constitution that they should never touch the Bill of Rights. The blend of different opinions of human rights activists all point out that the Bill of Rights should not be tampered at any cost. Kwa majina ito Nicholas Songora, ni mshirikishi ya mashirika serikali katika ukanda wa Pwani. Leo ituko hapa kwa dhimisha miyaka kumi kuwepo kwa katiba ambayo iliweza kuputishwa mwaka elfu mbili na kumi. Jukumuletu kuu ni kwa kisha kwamba, tunafanya utetezi kwa kisha kwamba katiba hii haiwezi kubadilishwa kwa sababu na pungea kama wakariketu wakiza kibinadamu ni kwamba kufikia sasa. Atuja tusheleka na masuala ya utekelezaji wa katiba. Ni kwamba katiba haija tekelezo kikamilifu. Yeni kwa nini tunengia katika msukumo wa kutaka kufaya mbadiliko. Tunaona kwamba katika Bill of Rights, Article 37, uh, tumeweza kuzuiwa kama wakariketu wakiza kibinadamu kufanya maandamano dhidi ya wale wafisadi, waloiba fedha za, za COVID-19. Wana kwamba tukingia barabarani, mbo tunatunushua tia gas, tunasuiliwa licha kwamba katiba metupatia na fasi ya kuweza kuandamana kwa amani. Kwa tunona kwamba ikiwa tuja tekeleza katiba hii, yeni kwa nini tunata mazungumzo ya kuweza kuzuia. Tunajua kwamba haya hii ni mipango ya wale kidogo ambao ni wafisadi, wana, wa, wa, wana njaa za uongozi, hawata kuondoka mamlakani, wanatafuta mbinu ya kuweza kuzuia ili waweza kuendelea kuyanyasa wanyonge. Sisi tasuama na haki ukisha kwamba maswala haya ayata we Dalila Hamza, Al Shifar TV, Mombasa.